Hey everyone, in this video we are going to paint our roof with a thermo resistant paint called Thermo Shield and then install our solar panels. So we got 3 by 305 watt Q cell panels which gives us a total of 915 watts. Uh, didn't go into a lot of detail of it during the video but we installed the panels in series and this is because we left our batteries in uh, series as well, so they're 24 volts. So because they're 24 volt panels, if they were to go in parallel, apparently sometimes if there's not a lot of sun, they might dip below the battery voltage and then they don't charge as well. So if you've got a 24 volt system, series uh, for your panels because then it gives it a higher voltage. Something we also didn't go into is our solar charger. So we have a Victron Smart Solar 150 slash 35 MPP T controller uh, so that was installed for us so I didn't install that uh, but the general gist is you connect it to your batteries first because it auto detects your battery voltage then you connect to it with an Android or iPhone app configure things like your absorption and float voltages which should be in your battery specifications then you connect your panels uh, I definitely don't recommend doing it unless you know what you're doing or have someone that knows what you're doing and I don't want to go into too much detail because I didn't do it myself but just wanted to give you a little bit of an idea because we didn't really touch much on it but otherwise hope you enjoy we have bought some paint called Thermo Shield for the roof um, so we need to put that on before we put the solar panels on so what we're going to do is we're just going to clean the roof today and put a little bit on just so we can see if it works and then yeah we'll go from now I'll show you the paint when we actually go put some on but for now we're just gonna clean the roof Alright, so now that we've cleaned and sanded the roof, we can apply our new roof paint. So it's called Thermo Shield, and it's designed so that it, you know, stops the sun from coming in and helps just give us a bit more insulation in the roof. Um, so yeah, we're just going to roll it on. It says to make sure you only put like 0.5 of a mil thick. I now I'm going to work out 0.5 of a mil. I just know that it's got to be thin because it actually works better when you do it thin and then multiple coats. So now that we've done two coats of paint on our roof, we're finally going to put our solar panels up. So these are the mounting brackets we use. They've just got a little lip that comes up here, secures here, and then we're going to pop rivet them to the roof to there. So we've got four of them. These are our solar panels here. They're Q cells, 305 watts. Um, yeah, it's really hot, so I'm not looking forward to putting them on the roof, but see how we go. So it was a bit hard to see when we were doing it because there was no way good to put the camera up but this is how we ended up uh, mounting them to the roof. So lots of silicon underneath each bracket and then pop riveted through. We used like I think they're 12.7 mil uh, pop rivets so they were super hard to get into the bus but they seem to hold pretty well and these are still well and truly sturdy after driving to Perth from the east coast and back so they seem like they're holding well okay so because we're wiring our solar panels in series this is essentially how it's going to look uh, we made sure to keep our solar panels covered whenever you're working with them you should, they should always be covered so they're not generating uh, power so we've got the negative from one going into the positive of the second one negative going into the positive the negative of the first and the positive of the last come down into this little thing that will go to our charge controller and then this was what we'll stick through the roof 
Um, so yeah, I was just putting it together to see how far it will last and well, see how far the cable will reach and that's where I know I can uh, put my hole. Okay, so we designed all this white wooden panel so it could come off easily so that we could run our wires to and from and we could get access to it if we needed to. But the removability of it didn't really work. Uh, it was hard. We had to take a lot more off than we intended anticipated so of course it didn't work we did a little bit of damage but that's okay it's off now so I'm just gonna drill a 25 mil hole which should be enough to put the uh, I know the external connection bit for the solar panel wiring and then we'll run it along here and then down to the electrical system. We have a hole So I'm just going to screw this on, you probably can't see it very well, but I'll show you at the end. Alright, so there's our solar wire. It was a bit short to run through the holes that already exist in our like driver's side rear pillar. So we put another hole in, I hope it's okay. And run it down and there it is so it's the one on the left the two black wires just suited some male blades crimped them on and put them in so all this stuff was already put together by Steve Langshrew in Queensland then sent down to us so yeah now I'm gonna run the battery monitor before we uh, turn this thing on so we can see what's happening so I'm just about to switch our solar on. This is just uh, connected to the solar control via Bluetooth, which I've switched on. Okay, now I'm going to flip this on. Now we have a tarp over our solar panels, so they're not going to give us much, but there we go. It's uh, providing us a tiny bit because obviously the sun is still shining through our little top. But it means we've wired it correctly, I think. So we might take the top off and just confirm. But it's currently providing a shade because it's super hot, so I'm not going to do that till later. Okay, so that was it for our panel installation. One problem that we did was we only did two coats of the thermoshield paint uh, we mentioned a few times it was really hot so we just got over it after two coats thought oh yeah we'll put the solar panels on because that'll sort of protect the front half of the bus and then we'll do the rest of the paint later we didn't do it and it definitely doesn't perform as well as what other people have said um, so now we've got to go back and do the rest of the coats the instructions for the paint says just do as many coats until you run out of paint like that's how it works best we just were lazy and frustrated and didn't do it so at some stage we're going to do more coats uh, it's, but it's a lot harder now with the solar panels up there and everything so definitely paint all of it on first and then comes with a clear coat so it's nicer as well which we also didn't do uh, but yeah otherwise I hope you found this video useful and please like subscribe and share thank you Getting nice and itchy from the insulation Let's hope this forms a seal No, no silicon My baby will probably silicon around it Cause that's what she does She silicons around Everything Everything Silicon Everything now we'll wrap our wire ring behind all the doohickeys. Wrap the wire ring, kick the shower door. That's what wiring's for. Should have gone behind the insulation.